Hello boys and girls, my name is Key Kavanagh and I'm here to teach you how to paint. Now before we even begin to paint, we must ask ourselves two very important questions. Number one, am I an artist? And number two, why do I want to be an artist? Now I understand that these questions may be rather daunting for all of you who are just starting out. But let me help you out by answering these questions myself, relating back to my own practice. So to answer the first question, I would say, yes, I'm an artist because, to put it very simply, I explored the Champion and Greenberg and constructs of semiox in relation to contemporary new institutionist contexts operating within the parameters of urban renewal with parallels drawn from ancient Greek numerology and revisited avant-garde nostalgia. And to answer the second question, I want to be an artist because I want to be like my heroes, Luke Tymans and Carl Walker. Well now that we've cleared that up, we can now move on to introducing you, my young novice, to the materials that you're going to need in order to paint. Slow down there. You won't be needing those, unless you're a cave painter. If you're looking to be a painter, you'd best take my advice and pick up that video camera. That's it. You see, that's much better. The second most important thing that you're going to need in order to paint is the thesaurus. The thesaurus is invaluable to any artist whose idiosyncratic attributes attribute to the signifiers that are woven into condensed narrative arches in the context of Joseph Boy's sweet caramel covered German lips. Well now that you have all the materials that you're going to need in order to paint, we may as well go over a few of the do's and don'ts of painting. Do not under any circumstances be too literal. For example, Instead of documenting your journey into red and through Europe, or cutting a chunk out of your hair every time you reach a new country and gluing it to a canvas, stop being so literal and blow the canvas up. Record the explosion, then project the video back onto your naked body while doing an interpretive performance dance piece about your experiences in interrailing. It really is that simple. Do make art about other people's art. Don't tackle subject matters such as personal issues, romance, or complex political issues. Instead, focus on space documenting, movement and negative space. You know, stuff that matters to people. And not to mention postmodernist neo parables and their geopolitical ramifications. You also want to avoid things like drawings that use mimesis or abstract forms that depict emotions. This is very unoriginal as what is known in the art world as a cliche. Well you might want to know how do I avoid making cliches? How can I make sure this doesn't happen? It's actually quite simple. The way we avoid making cliches in art is through a process called installation and another process called performance. And what better way to display these two amazing processes than by using examples of my own work. The three works that I'm about to show you were made back when I was on the table rogue of a searing young artist. So on this next piece of work I'm about to show you something very important. It's what we call an installation art, the twist. See these bananas on this wall? Looks good doesn't it? Interesting and all that, but there's nothing really going on in it. Oh look, now they're painting the colour of the American flag. Still not convinced? You see, because these 24 bananas actually represent 24 monkeys that were sent into space by NASA which died against their own will. Twist! Now you see how this goes from just being bananas stuck in a wall painted red, white and blue to a multifaceted piece of work with deep meaning. As if this wasn't enough, we now move on to the performance process. You see, creating a piece of work that is about a monkey's outrage of being sent against its own will to die in outer space would be very difficult to do in a traditional medium. So that's why we have the lifeline of performance in the art world. You can see through certain subtle actions in the performance that I'm in fact displaying all the points that I'm trying to get across. Using performance allows me to maintain my contemporary relevance while still getting a solid, legitimate body of work out there. Projection is also another very good way of avoiding cliches. For example, if you're going to make a work about cutting off your moustache, most people would just glue it to a piece of paper and display it that way. But it's an, actually a scientific fact that it's a better piece of art if you project onto a wall. So now that you've been blessed with all the information that you're going to need in order to paint, I think it's about time that I opened up the floor to some questions. Yes. You. Sorry, I was just wondering if you thought that maybe installation art and contemporary art practice are just a bit inflated at the moment. It seems that a lot of people are curating shows in the same way and 
a lot of work just comes out as being the same thing and maybe it robs the individuality of it. But don't get me wrong, I've actually really connected with pieces of performance and installation art in the past. But maybe all the artists to use it don't necessarily have to use it for the work. Maybe it's just kind of the thing you do nowadays. Just like nowadays, maybe not absolutely everyone who claims to be a street artist actually is a street artist. Well, that's an interesting question, but I can guarantee you that all the points you brought up are actually completely wrong. Anyway, it's clear from your attitude that you don't properly grasp the idea of painting. So the best I can do is just give you a few more tips and then advise you to watch this video again from the beginning. There are two other things that you may need in order to paint. These would be wine and plenty of friends. Well, that's it. Well, now that I've taught you everything that I know about the world of painting, it's about time that you got out there yourself and started recording, installing and performing. Good luck.